Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today what we're going to be looking at is the Asus E-Pad Transformer Prime. We're back out here. You can see that we have quite a few more options besides just this thing. Um, you can see our battery use there, that's with everybody, but we have Asus Customized Settings. Uh, you can change it so you can be allowed to get that super IPS mode. Um, we also have uh, the ability to take a screenshot right from your screen, your front screen here. What it does this option does is allow you to hold down your recent apps key and then it'll take a screenshot, so that's pretty cool. Um, you have system performance, so you can change that between normal, balanced, and power saving. That's what we saw down here in this menu as well. Um, you got Aces Quick settings. That'll uh, be the same, that'll just activate this little thing down here we just saw. Uh, touchpad pointer style, now that changes what you're doing with your mouse pad down here. Uh, let me show it to you quick, right here. Now, um, with other uh, laptop situations with, with Android, you might not get this mouse, but we have a like, nice little mouse that flies around like that. It has a blue glow to it and black inside, and it works surprisingly well. I don't mean surprisingly well, like Asus wouldn't be able to do it, but I've never seen a mouse pad work this well with Android before. Um, we have mobile dock battery saving mode. That just works with the dock. And then pretty much the same uh, settings over on the left here other than that. Now as far as the keyboard goes, you have uh, a very nice setup for keyboard here. The, type, the keys are very nicely uh, situated and they tap really nice, sort of soft like that. We have uh, nice stylistic, stylistic choices here like the up and down buttons have a little white circle around them rather than the, uh, the actual key being white. As well as the one and six keys look essentially like pool balls. Now, you can tap up or down for volume, you can shut the volume off completely, you can lock up your screen like that, you can go forward or backwards or play, this works with your music system as well as videos, um, you can go straight to the internet, you can uh, adjust your, your uh, brightness settings right there, uh, activate or deactivate your Bluetooth, go home, or you know, essentially do whatever you want. Now, the keypad, or the, the touchpad down here is excellent. Like. Um, Normally, a touchpad for most mobile devices I've seen so far are just sort of seem to have been added afterwards. This one is really quite nice. Tracking is excellent. You can adjust the tracking on the computer. Um, you can tap uh, instead of just uh, you know needing to use this sort of clicker right here. You can just tap like a lot of PCs have that feature now as well. And then um, to uh, de to detach the whole thing. You just have to do like so. You have to uh, pull that and you have it off. Now, the thing you might want to think about here when you have it reattached is not to have yourself jamming on the uh, screen like this. Because like, the screen is a bit heavier than the unit on the bottom. But if you're not the sort of person who just smashes the screen a lot, and I hope you aren't, uh, you won't have any problem with it. Now, close this up, you can see that we have some pads in the bottom that hold it in place. It's really nice. Um, the pad itself doesn't have that much to it. You just have this for power. It'll show you the power right there with a little blinking light. You have the attachment back here. It's rather strong. And then you have a couple of things here. You have a place where you can put memory cards. Uh, you just click them in like that. And then you have uh, this. This is a full-size USB. All of these little guys, including the ones on the tablet, come with these little rubber deals in them. Uh, this is so that if you don't want to use them, you can just keep them in there. But if you do take them out, you're going to have to put them aside because they're not attached. But they are nice. They will stay in there if you do not want to use your uh, ports like that. And the speaker you have is this one right here. So you'll want to, if you're watching a movie or something, you're going to want to have it close to, uh, say, a wall or something so it'll reflect nicely. Uh, up here we have the camera with a flash. The old version did not have a flash. This is 8 megapixels. You can see that the back is uh, radial spun. Really nice looking. We have the purple version. And uh, this is 3D by the way. It feels really nice. You have um, your headphone jack right there. On this side you have one of your mics. You have the power button on top. On this side you have volume. Your uh, HDMI out. You have a thing for your memory card right there, micro C, and uh, here's your other microphone. 
front of the device is really rather simple. Just has that uh, Gorilla Glass up there, and that's it. I mean, there's there's some sensors up here as well as your camera. Uh, the Asus name. Other than that, it's very, very simple. It's completely glass up front. There's nothing around the sides. So there you have it. We'll be continuing to take a look at this device uh, throughout the week. We'll have a full review up for you soon.